good morning and it's a saturday morning at that how are you doing we are live we are here we are ready to go how's everybody doing it's another wild and crazy week that's finally come to an end and hey guess what we made it we're here we're ready to go we've got everything set up here so we're just about ready to start our saturday morning uh, routine here uh, so hey listen this is what's going on today we're gonna do some cardio I am gonna do the bike I did say yesterday I might do I might have I was thinking about doing the uh, rowing but I opted not to uh, so hey we're here we're gonna do the bike instead so that's what's going on um, we're gonna do 30 minutes on the bike we're, ha we're, we're literally jumping on here in 10 seconds uh, we're gonna do the bike we're gonna do the ab circuit then we're gonna do some extra shoulder work and then we're gonna finish it off with a big stretch glad you're here glad you're joining us it's uh, it's a it's a great day it's Saturday we made it through another week so hey uh, you know let's grab the drink too. We, we got the bio steel back I did run out so and I, I only learned yesterday that bio steel here in Canada and the United States has filed for chapter 11 uh, bankruptcy protection uh, I apparently I uh, here let, well let's get set up here on the bike and then we can chat about that uh, bear with me okay uh, let's hit the reset on here okay uh, let's get the Chromecast up chats open chats open we're good we can chat away with you uh, let's get the Chromecast going so yep there we go, bingo. Alrighty, there we go. And let's go there. And let's do that. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let's chat about BioSteel. So they are <clears throat> they are they are uh, a Canadian company. Um, from what I understand, with with uh, with BioSteel, uh, apparently, uh, from what I've heard, they filed for Chapter Eleven bankruptcy. They were owned by some. Uh, grow off company canopy or something some type of I guess uh, marijuana company or something anyways long story short they uh, they have filed for chapter 11 protection I guess they overspent on uh, they overspent on advertising uh, the rumor was up in the hundred million dollar range or 150 million or something I don't know something they they spent a large amount of money and unfortunately, they only brought in like $17 million in, in revenue. So those aren't good numbers. Uh, anyways, uh, very unfortunate. Uh, I guess they're looking for a buyer. But uh, it's a great drink. It was, it was created, uh, from what I recall reading, it was created by the trainers of the Toronto Maple Leafs and whatnot. And it did become the official drink and sponsor of all 30 or 32 NHL teams uh, I don't know if any other sports jumped on board or not but anyway it's really unfortunate so anyways I am late today by the way <laughs> slept in I didn't set the alarm uh, I did wake up at uh, it was like 3 39 and I said yeah okay I'll get out of bed boom fell asleep wake up and it's like <laughs> it was like 4 48 got another hour so anyways we're here we're getting it done uh, you know it's uh, part and parcel of uh, you know doing what we do once in a while you need that extra sleep so anyways let's talk about the week that was the week that was it was a pretty uh, wild and crazy week a um, lot of things going on a lot of things uh, 
Mo you know, Monday was a great workout. Tuesday, I completely did not. Just uh, various different reasons. Things, you know, things happen. Uh, Wednesday, we came back at it. Uh, did the morning cardio. Uh, got uh, got the workout in, in the afternoon, which was back. No, sorry, sorry. Wednesday morning, I did back and buys. That's right. And I don't think I came back Wednesday afternoon. Uh, Thursday morning I got. Uh, Thursday morning I got. Uh, I almost have to pull the book out and look. Uh, well, hold on. Wednesday morning I did back and buys and I had to end it quickly. That's right because the crews arrived to take down the tree. And then I didn't do my Wednesday afternoon cardio. Thursday we got back on track. And Friday we were back on track. Yesterday was legs. That was a monstrous leg workout too. That was huge. Uh, fantastic workout yesterday. Uh, if anything suffered this week, it's that, it's the food plan. See, I didn't meal prep. And, you know, you, you wind up getting off course a little bit. And it's just so easy to happen. So we have to tighten up the food plan. I don't use word diet. I really strive not to use that word because I kind of really actually hate it. But yeah, we, I have to tighten up this food plan, this food intake of mine, because it's, it's get it, it little by little during the week, it got a little off kilter and it got a little, I was eating a little bit of too, I could eat, I could tell I was eating too much. And, uh, and I can feel it. So, uh, yeah, we got to tighten things up starting today. And I'm going to do some meal prep uh, tomorrow. I have to. I got no choice. Got to do some meal prep. So, we'll get back on track. It happens. You know, you do get off track. You do get off, you know, you kind of lose your way a little bit, so to speak. So, it does happen. It happens to the best of us. Um... Music's back on course. We're we're uh, working on that. We've got everything set up here, so the uh, the music is happening. Uh, emailed off some tracks this week. Some of the guys that I work with, so uh, we're we're getting back on track. Uh, fine tuning the recording process. So that's that's really exciting, actually. So uh, most evenings. Uh, around starting around 6 30 7 o'clock i gotta you know come down here and uh start playing i might even stream a few of them you never know so uh but yeah that's what's going on so lots of good stuff lots of really 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 good stuff going on so very happy about that so uh september is still September. so there's numerous places or a few places you can sub you know, so, you know, you can follow along with my social media platforms that I'm, that I participate in, you know, uh, you know, so certainly in my bio, you can check out some of the links and socials that are there. I encourage you to follow along. Very active, very active. So, uh, don't be shy. Follow along. Uh, you know, we got the... We're involved in Instagram, and most of these places I have two accounts because I I go as Home Gym Fitness, and then I also go as Liberty Street Rock because they're they're two different entities, right? One's the band, one's my other passion, which is fitness. So, by all means, follow along. Uh, you know, bios in, in the bio, the links are all there. All the links are good. At least the last time I checked, they were. So certainly, I encourage you to do that. So, uh, on that note, you know, we uh, got lots of things going on this fall. This is going to be a really, really busy fall. So, uh, with, with the fitness aspect of things, with the music aspect of things, and then just like behind the scenes, which you guys never see because you don't, you know, I don't, you know, it's, the, it's life in general, job, you know things that are ongoing just daily in everybody's day-to-day -day life. Yeah, it's a very, very busy time. So 
Uh, which really, at the end of the day, uh, you know, you'd rather be busy than not. I mean, life would be awfully boring if there was nothing going on. <laughs> you know, life would really suck, right? So, um, anyways, all that being said, uh, you know, there's lots of good, good things going on. Um, you know, I had a comment on one of my videos that I posted and you know somebody was thanking me for the the motivation and and the and the daily motivation and the daily postings you know because i am very active that way and um you know that's one of the biggest challenges of fitness is staying motivated and i i can't deny that putting out a video and putting out creating content does keep me really really motivated um so, and, and it really holds me, number one, accountable. Um, so I, I, I like that aspect of it, I really do. Um, for me, it's a, it's a great thing. Um, I've been really, really active and really, uh, um, uh, what's, what's the word I want? I, I've been on here literally every day since I started streaming, like uh, unless, for one, whatever crazy reason I can't, um, you know, I, I've been on here faithfully. And uh, certainly I've seen the strength go up, I feel the strength going up, you know, I've lost weight, you know, I, I, I feel and see the difference. I think right at this particular moment, I'm, I'm on the verge of kind of a stumbling block because I need to get down that extra couple of pounds now to get into that next phase. So. On that note, that's where, you know, perseverance, determination, and being creative with my workouts is is key. So, just, uh, you know, and, and not quitting, obviously. Like, it would be so easy to say, eh, forget, I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah, I mean, that's just the easiest thing to do in the world. And people do it all the time. It's crazy, right? They hit a stumbling block, they don't know what to do, and I ah, pack it and done. But that's... I can't do that. I, I, I can't do that. I won't do that. Uh, I'll push forward before I do anything else. So, but uh, anyways, you know, uh, it's uh, something that's important that I want to do and move forward and and uh, and basically let's 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 get this done. So, uh, you know, we show up every day. You know, nine times out of ten is five a.m. Today, six. <laughs> Slept in. Oops. You know. So, yeah, we're just here to get it done. We're here to get it done. We're here to do what we got to do. And, uh, you know, uh, I kind of like the, the routine that I'm in right now. Uh, you know, Monday chest and tries. Tuesday back and buys. Wednesday shoulders. Thursday legs. And then I give myself that buffer zone that if I can't make it. You know, we just bump everything ahead a day. Like, you know, I don't beat myself up about it like some people uh, do and or used to. Or, you know, that's that's not how I'm going to do things. Uh, you know, I'm here to, uh, you know, do what I can do. I don't work out the body parts twice a week. Um, in my younger days, absolutely. But now, no. No, n number one... I find it's really hard on my joints. You know, I'm 55. I'm not 25. I'm not 15. I'm 55. Uh, and I just find that I can get... What I find now is, you know, Monday I'll, I'll do chest and tries, Tuesday back and buys, Wednesday shoulders, Thursday legs. Friday, like, it depends. Like, I have the ability, if I miss... For whatever reason during the work week I might I miss a workout because of work commitments or other commitments or you know what whatever reason I miss I'll just bump everything ahead a day and then Thursday becomes shoulders uh, Friday still stays legs or I had to miss Friday so then Saturday becomes legs um, I just I bump everything ahead but you know the old days a six day split 
Monday was chest and tries, Tuesday back and buys, Wednesday was shoulders and legs, and then Thursday would be back to shoulder, uh, my, uh, Thursday would be chest and tries. I just found for me, as I got older, that became so much more difficult to do. And that became so much harder on the joints. And I've tried it. This is what works for me at this stage in my life. Now, Saturdays has become uh, a day of, you know, we still do the cardio, we still do the ab circuit, and then I pick a body part and I do some extra work on it. And I started this about four weeks ago, maybe four or five. And I did biceps and triceps uh, three weeks in a row. And then I did chest last week. So yeah, this will be the fifth week. So today we're gonna do shoulders, we're gonna do laterals. And we're gonna do some super giant sets on the laterals. And we're gonna bump things, we're, we'll do giant sets where we go up and down the dumbbell. So for me, uh, this, is, this is kind of my version of giving some extra attention to parts, body parts that need it. And uh, you know, I, I like doing this as opposed to trying to do a six day, you know, routine. And I like the routine of in the mornings, between, you know, normally 5 a.m. doing my cardio, my abs and my stretching, and then coming back at four in the afternoon, 11 hours later and doing, you know, a, a chest and triceps or a back and biceps or a full shoulders. So I really like the, the, the plan that I currently have. So for me, this is what really works well. So, um, again, it may not work for you. Again, it may not be something that interests you, but that's the beauty because everybody who works out has their plan that works for them. And that's, that's what is amazing about uh, working out, weightlifting, bodybuilding, powerlifting, whatever you're into, circuit training, whatever you're into, that's what works for you. So I like what I'm doing. And uh, for me, it's that perfect split right now. So I'm gonna continue with what I'm doing. Uh, I don't really concern myself with too much with uh, what other people do, but, but, what does intrigue me is what is paying attention to what other people do to see if you can learn. And that's, that is something that I, I like to do. I like to pay attention to what other people do in case I can learn something. And when, and when it comes to working out, weightlifting, bodybuilding, powerlifting, you know, whatever, um, in this sport, um, it is, it, you're never too old to learn. There's always something to learn. And I mean, it could be as simple as how a lateral raise is done. Lateral raises have been done in various different ways since, you know, essentially the beginning of time. Some guys like to stand very perpendicular and do a lateral raise. Other guys like to have the start the dumbbells down here or here. You know, in some of those machines, you do it like this. Now, most recently, uh, I saw uh, Big Mike Van Wick training Regan Grimes, and he had him kind of leaning forward, slouched over, hang, letting his arms hang, and then doing a lateral raise. But as he did it, he kind of stood up and pulled, you know, pushed his chest forward a little bit. You know, I was like, wow, that's interesting. Then if you go all the way back to, you know, 60 years, 50 years ago, uh, actually 55 years ago, Larry Scott, was it Larry Scott or was it Vince Gironda? Uh, no, I, th I thought it was, I mean, it was both. I think, I think, yeah, it was either one of them but or both. Like where he would bring, have his arms like this and he was doing a two-armed, right? And, and I, I mean, I'm not demonstrating very well sitting here. But again, just various different ways on how to do a lateral raise. And it was like, wow, well, that was incredible, right? So again, you know, I remember another guy telling me doing a lateral and we were standing up with, you know, with that ever so slight lean forward, 
He says, when you're doing a lateral raise, he goes, you know, you don't need super, super heavy dumbbells. He goes, you need a dumbbell that you're comfortable with. But he goes, like, don't bring it all the way back down here. He goes, there's no tension here. He goes, you've lost all the tension. You want to you wanna keep the, the deltoid under tension. And what, what's the big slogan? Time under tension. So he says, when you go up, he says, don't go up to here. There's no tension up here. There's nothing here. He goes, he goes bring it to here 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 he goes it's under tension you're building the muscle and you know and that was that was a bodybuilder friend of mine that i've known for 30 years you know we trained a number of times together over the years you know we'd get together when we could right so again everybody has an interpretation everybody has their thought their take you know on on how to train and how to get the most out of their training so uh, most people who work out they have a bad habit you probably don't know what it is but guaranteed you've got one and that's where uh, I love to you know listen and learn and pay attention and even at my age 55 years old you know I like to still pay attention I still like to listen I still like to learn I like to see what people do uh, because sometimes I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. Maybe I'll try that, you know? So e even a simple, uh, you know, we call them skull crushers, but as I, as I recall, I think the official proper name was Lying French Press. You know, you got, the, you got the easy curl bar up over your head. You're laying on your bench doing a skull crusher. And, you know, some people keep their, their elbows like completely, you know, perpendicular as opposed to you should actually have them ever so slightly back. So when you do uh, do that, that French press or that skull crusher, you're getting enough tension on the tricep. And if you don't have your elbows back far enough, you're not gonna get that type of contraction on the tricep. So again, just little things, right? Little things. I was just watching a video 45 minutes ago about a guy saying about a bench press how everybody does the bench press wrong you need your shoulders contracted and down right you, you need to actually bring them all down because most people have them up like this and they're benching or or they just have them natural as opposed to bring them down contract back and down and then do your your bench press so um, again everybody does things differently uh, everybody does things their way um, you know it's just if you if you're if you have an open mind and you're willing to still learn at whatever age you are that that's a key important factor let's grab a drink here so anyways just my little chit chat for this morning So, I've been thinking about doing a subathon to generate some interest, but you know, everybody knows it's September. So, I don't think I'm really going to actually like stream for, you know, 10, 20, or 12, or 24 hours. I, and number one, I just don't have the time to do that. I really honestly, I don't. I'm too busy. Uh, I'm just going to mention that each stream, hey, it's September, you know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. You know, I think that's all I'm gonna do. And I, I, I really, honestly, I don't have the time to spend hours on social media, you know, begging people to subscribe. It, it's not my style, number one. You know, eh, number two, it's really just not my thing. So, hey, follow, uh, sub, you know, we're trying to grow the social media platforms here, you know, so, you know, I, I, I normally never stream more than about an hour, an hour and a half. Like today might get into an hour and a half, maybe an hour, 40 minutes. Uh, for me to go much longer than that's pretty rare. Uh, I like to keep my, my workout short. Um, if there is one trend I've, I've noticed recently and I can't put my finger on it, but chat has been quiet. 
Um, it, it has been a little quieter than usual, and I don't know why. Um, very odd. I'm not sure why. You know, but eh, it doesn't bother me. You know, I got the gift of gab, <laughs> so doesn't phase me too much. But yeah, I like like in it, when I stream, I like to keep things positive. I I don't get into really a whole ton of negative kind of conversations because I'm really not a negative person by nature. Um, I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky guy. So uh, at the end of the day, you know. Um, I, I like to chit chat, smile, have a good time, keep it light, keep it fun, staying motivated, and that, that's really my, my motif. I, I really don't get involved in a whole, to, a whole ton of negativity. Um, it's not going to do anybody any good. It's not going to do me any good. It doesn't do the stream any good. So I do like to have fun uh, and, and keep things based on fitness and or music, like I'm pretty open that way. Uh, obviously being a musician, I'm open to talk about music anytime anybody wants to. Uh, that's music that I like, <laughs> uh, you know. But anyways, that all being said, hey listen, you know, uh, I'm on here to show people, the whole premise of what I do is to show people that you can do it at home. That is the premise of what I'm all about. Uh, there's, you know, literally billions of people around the world, and however many of them work out, I have no idea. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm here to show people that you can work out at home and get a great workout at home. And that was the entire premise of my recording videos 12 years ago and putting them on YouTube. In this basement, when we had a whole lot less equipment. <laughs> uh, but that was the premise, and here we are, in 2023 basically doing just that but now we have the ability to stream it live which back in those days you, uh, you, you could not do I, I basically when I started when I started actually filming videos years ago they had just got past there used to be a 10 minute limit on YouTube <laughs> think about that there was a 10 minute 10 minute limit that that's how long ago we're talking so anyways um, you know what we're able to do things so much differently in HD today. Uh, 720 was new then. Ten, I don't even think 1080 was available yet. I think it came around later. But anyways, my, my that's my that is the entire premise of what I do here to show you it can be done. Um, I've been very creative with a lot of my equipment, which is great. Uh, I've made some of my own equipment, like the dumbbell rack, my stand, you know, my hack squat attachment. You know my pulley systems yeah I, I mean I made them all but you know people now have garage home gyms with like literally commercial equipment in their garage like that didn't exist 12 years ago I, I, I don't think I know anybody that had like literally commercial style equipment in their garage and I was pretty surprised you know seeing garage gyms with literally commercial grade equipment or just shy of that you know when the pandemic started that's when everybody said oh uh, I'm gonna get this garage you know gym equipment and I'm gonna get it and put it in my garage that's incredible like I mean like beyond incredible but most people don't have that ability or at least lots don't so you know uh, yeah so you know we're just uh, I'm just here doing what I do and having fun at it so that that's the most important thing Okay, we're 25 minutes in. That's amazing how fast 25 minutes can go by. It's incredible. So we're uh, going to wrap this up here with a 30-minute ride this morning. Again, uh, you know, I didn't knock it out of the park. Uh, we had a pretty tough leg day yesterday. Actually, we're at 26 and a half minutes. And uh, this was a steady state ride. I'm sweating, uh, believe it or not, I am. And, uh, you know, we did hit cardio... Uh, I think it was Thursday morning we did hit the battle ropes. So, you know, we're getting it done. I got to get this other bike fixed. Uh, that's on the agenda between today and tomorrow. I got to find a threaded rod uh, that I can see if I can find the right threads. It's going to be tough. It ain't going to be easy, but we'll try and get it done one way or the other. So, I don't mind riding this bike, but 
it's not my favorite. Okay. If you're lurking away, appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Liberty Street Rock, and this is the home gym. This is the home gym fitness where we get it done. And uh, we are absolutely getting it done right here. Glad you're along. Glad you're lurking away. Appreciate it. We're uh, ready to wrap up a 30-minute cardio ride this morning. Uh, we're going to move on to uh, our ab circuit. We're going to do the one on the board today. Uh, I mixed it up earlier in the week, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna knock that one out today one more time. It's a tough one. I've only done it once this week, so uh, but we're gonna we're gonna get it done. And, uh, and then we're gonna do some shoulders. I'm gonna put the dumbbells through their paces. So that's what's on the agenda. And uh, we will do it absolutely. So, again, Saturday morning, just after, uh, it's probably give or take around 6.30, I'm guessing right now. I hear someone's up upstairs. I could hear some foot, footsteps, so I know somebody's up. So, yeah. Appreciate you lurking. Appreciate you hanging out. Appreciate you following along. It's awesome. It is September, so hey, don't forget. Throw us a follow. Throw us a sub. If you follow today, we uh, will definitely get some we'll get some uh, push-ups in for you. So maybe next Saturday we'll do some push-ups and for our extra for chest, a little extra chest attention. We'll do some push-ups, good old-fashioned push-ups. Gotta love the extra push-ups, let me tell you. All right, let's see what our time is here. Let's see where we're at. Twenty-nine and a half minutes. Wow. Okay, thirty seconds to go, and we're gonna wrap this up. I gotta find my book. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. That's something else that a lot of people don't do: is uh, have a journal. For their workouts i've been keeping one on and off now for probably between five and six years i actually i really do enjoy it i do like it all right there we are 30 minutes Woo. all right all right let's grab that book let's write down our numbers okay Okay, so September 16th today. Okay, we did a bike ride. 30 minutes. Uh, uh, distance. Uh, 2.1. Uh, Calories 52.9. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to do abs. All right, let's put the bike away. All right, so, all right, let's get the all-in-one gym out. Uh, okay, 
Um, reverse high wheel. Uh, oh, I need the tucks off the bench, so we need the bench. Swung around. Okay. Okay, banded. Gotta grab the bowl. Okay. Okay, all right, let's continue on now. Okay, so we're gonna do our ab circuit. All right, so just to recap on the abs, we're gonna do reverse ab wheel, which is with the all-in-one gym. Then we're gonna pop up the tucks off the gym, or sorry, tucks off the bench. Then we're gonna get down on the floor for the reverse crunch banded. Then we're gonna to go to a frog crunch, and then we're gonna wrap it up with uh, vacuums. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. Let's not let's not stand around. No point standing around. Let's get her done here. Okay, here we go. Okay, those are tough, I gotta tell you. Those are tough ones. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right, reverse. Banded. Knee ups, crunches, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you can barely. Pushing, expelling all the air out of your stomach while tensing your abs. Whew. Okay, those are tough. All right, there we are. Okay, we are getting it done. Appreciate you being here. Okay, we'll do a few more rounds for sure. Whew, 
Okay, one more minute, we'll go again. Grab a quick little sip. All right, let's push this back. Oh my goodness, Camaril. Wow, haven't seen you in a while, man. Oh, absolutely, haven't missed a day barely, man. Appreciate you popping in. It's been a long time. Wondered what happened to you. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on my second 36-day uh, cut, killing it here. We did a 36-day cut. It took a week, and then we started again. This one's been a little tougher, but yeah. Uh, great to see you, man. Definitely uh, let me know how you're doing. It's been a while. I'm going to start my second set here. I'll check for uh, comments there in a moment, but yeah. Just had to take a break streaming to focus on yeah, yeah absolutely i hear you man absolutely i hear you uh really glad to see you pop on oh yeah yeah haven't missed a day man i mean when i say i haven't missed a day uh like i haven't like skipped a workout sometimes i have to shift them you know a day ahead or something but no we've been really consistent really really consistent so Yeah, it's funny, I did sleep in today. <laughs> I slept in today, I'm actually late today. Uh, I woke up at uh, 3.48, made the, made the uh, big mistake of rolling over. <laughs> woke up and it was 4.48. <laughs> so, anyways, we're here though, man, we're here, we're getting her done, we're here. I wake up at 3.45 to 3.30, 3.45, 3.50 every single day. But, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, on here consistent every every morning for the most part. Like, there's the odd day I got to miss because of, you know, other commitments. But, one, two, three, four. Uh, 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 okay, now we're going to do some vacuums. Hope you're gonna get back to streaming soon. Whew. Yeah, I, I, I'm not good at them, but they're really good for you. <laughs> so I do my best, right? Okay, that's round number two. So, well, first of all, really good to see you. Appreciate you coming in. Uh, uh, I hope uh, in the near future you're uh, able to get back streaming. Uh, always appreciated your afternoon streams around dinner time here for me. So yeah, hope to see you back on this fall. Uh, yeah, we're just uh, we're doing our thing, you know. I'm doing my thing, just getting it done. And uh, I've kind of I was saying earlier in the stream I've kind of hit like a little bit of a. I don't want to say roadblock, stumbling block, but trying to get to that next, like trying to lose those next couple of pounds uh, to get into where I want to like strive to get my next goal. But yeah, we just got to tighten up the diet. You got to tighten up that food plan, but hoping to get back later this month. All right. Awesome. 
Awesome. Yeah. Right on, right on. Well, hey, uh, like seriously, if uh, if you're back on, you know, later, uh, streaming later this month or next, uh, you know, you know, I'll be there, right? So, you know, I'll be uh, I'll be in there cheering you on. So I'll I'll be watching for you. Yeah, I didn't. My big mistake is I didn't meal prep. <laughs> I did meal prep last Sunday, which I normally do, and uh, I'm kind of paying for it. It's just, and, and my focus this week was really off. There was a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, I don't know, I, I guess you weren't aware, but back in July, we had the tree beside my house. Uh, one of the huge monstrous limbs fell off because it was rotted, and it broke away and landed and crushed two of my cars. I went from being a three-car family to a one-car family overnight. <laughs> So, uh, they finally took this hundred year old tree down beside my house. Finally. Um, so yeah, so I mean, we got, you know, one of the cars was actually my son's. It was his college car and, uh, he had to go like literally from the second or the first week of July, all the way till essentially labor day with no car trying to find a car. Right. So it was a bit of a disaster. Hey, Camaro, if you want to do me a super solid, sub my YouTube. I really appreciate it, trying to grow my YouTube. Um, but anyways, we finally, the tree came down, and it, it's just, yeah, it is it is what it is, but uh, finally. So we're kind of back to some normalcy, but it was a bit of a wild and crazy week. So, but uh, anyways, let's get our third round in. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, let's get our third round in, and... Uh, and then I'm gonna move on to uh, the extra shoulder work today. And uh, hold on one second here. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do something here. Um, I'm just getting better at this stuff, so uh, bear with me. Whew. It's taken me a while, <laughs> but I am getting better at the shout outs, so. Uh, I, I do smile because I am getting better now. <laughs> I'm trying. Some of the stuff comes really easy to me, and then other, other of these commands are a real struggle for me. But, uh, yeah, we, we got you a shout out there. And, uh, yeah. Okay, let's get our final set in. Let's do it. Let's get her done. Here we go. Uh, sucks to have your stuff destroyed like that, but sounds like nobody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You believe it or not? Still to this day, I do not have a mod in my stream. Yeah, after all this time, I still actually do not have a mod. I just do it all myself. Luckily, I've only had, I don't know about you, right? But one of those crazy things, I've never really had too many problems. I had a couple, I had a guy come in a couple weeks ago and make a, a comment that I don't, or I didn't care for. And, hold on. And uh, I had to straight up tell the guy, uh, yeah, we don't do that in my stream. Like, we don't talk like that in my stream. It was kind of a crude comment, which I uh, didn't really appreciate. Uh, but, yeah, just told him to end it, and he, he basically left. Yeah, exactly. Like, I've been streaming since April, and I can literally count on one hand, you know, some of the uh, craziness, right? Uh, one that I do remember, I had this, uh, well, I, I, I should be careful when I say it like this, but I'm guessing it was a female, and I'm pretty confident it was, saying, oh, I'm trying to send you a DM, and I'm like, uh, I want to ask you a question. <laughs> 
I said, ask right here. She wouldn't do it. <laughs> this is like, yeah, okay. You know, uh, so yeah, I, I, again, I've had only a couple of instances of, you know, stuff, right? You know, so again, I, 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 I do count myself as quite lucky, I guess. And, you know, I mean, most of the nonsense, um, you know, has been from guys. Um, we had a funny one the other day, actually. Uh, come here, I'm sure you know uh, Maximus Fit, right? I think he used to go by Daddy Max, primarily streams in the mornings. Um, but we had another guy come into the stream the other day and... It was kind of like, he called me grandpa, which I was like, what? You know, you know, first of all, don't call me grandpa. Number two, I go, we have the fittest grandpa right here in my stream today, Maximus Fit. <laughs> so we had a bit of fun with it. And uh, like, I'm not taking that title from the fittest grandpa on Twitch. <laughs> so we had a bit of a laugh over that one. We had some fun with that. So, uh yeah but uh anyways other than that have you been actually working out or are you just are you still working out at home you just haven't been streaming or have you taken time off from actually working out as well as streaming Okay, okay, glad to hear that, glad to hear that. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do now, Saturdays, um, I do basically everything the same. I get my cardio in, I get my, my ab circuits in, but Saturdays I also pick a muscle group and I give it what I call a little extra attention, a little extra love. Um, so today's going to be shoulders and we're going to do some extra laterals today. So that's what's on the agenda today. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do some uh, laterals. I'm going to warm them up first. Uh, and then we're going to jump in and do some uh, extra lateral uh, sets today. So just going to get some. Okay. Okay. Hey, that, that, that's, that's fantastic. Well, certainly uh, keep me posted, you know, I mean, um, keep me posted if you're, when you get back working out, you know, or streaming, I should say, when you get back streaming, uh, by all means, let me know. You know, I'll, uh, I'll definitely, uh, absolutely jump in your streams and whatnot. Um, definitely get in there and get, uh, get you some support, show you some support for sure. So, always enjoyed your streams, always enjoyed the energy. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make sure we're there for you. Oh, yeah, no problem. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's been a lot of new people on Twitch. Uh, I'm noticing more and more and more people... Um, in the mornings, especially when I get up like that four and five o'clock, like a lot of European uh, people are streaming. Uh, oh yeah, oh oh yeah, no, because uh, the tree fell at the, the sidewalk and driveway, and my home gym is way back. Actually, my home gym is right outside uh, this window here that has the Maryland poster on it. That's where the home gym is. So uh, I streamed outside once this week. It needs a big cleanup since the tr since they cut the tree down. I got to get the, the you know the uh, leaf blower out there and clean up. So that's on the agenda today. So um, hopefully I can get out there today uh, or tomorrow and uh, get the leaf blower out and clean it all up. So I'd like to still get at least another you know six workouts in. Uh, we're certainly starting to see some cooler weather. <clears throat> so yeah. So, 
Yeah, it was quite the ordeal to watch these guys cut down a massive tree. <laughs> uh, watching these guys take this thing down was like, it was like a science project. Every single cut they did was tied off. They had a, they had a hundred foot crane here, which was a 30 ton crane. And uh, they had a bucket, you know, a you know, bucket truck or a cherry picker, whatever you want to call it, a bucket truck that went up 70 feet to the height of the top of the tree. So it was really, really uh, an ordeal to watch it. I might post a couple pics in my Discord. I haven't yet because a couple people said, oh, if you do that, you can get doxxed. So <laughs> don't want to do that, right? So I might have to... Uh, blur everything else out but yeah it was uh quite the ordeal okay i think we got i think we're warmed up let's uh let's get our first set in and let's get our couple of warm-up sets underway before we go into a couple of circuits here okay Okay, easy first set, 12, 12 reps, nice and clean, just warming up. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I hear you, I, I agree, I agree. The problem is we just don't know in this wild and crazy world anymore what people are going to do, right? You know, life, I'm 55, you know, life was so different. 35 years ago when I was a teenager, right? Or, you know, in the 80s, right? You know, we used to go out to all hours of the night, never have a, a worry in the world, never, never really had any kind of issues. You know, you go to the bars, never had a problem. I mean, I, did I see fights? Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, it just seems so unpredictable today. I don't know. I uh, the the mental health thing is really really pushed hardcore now, and I don't know. I mean that stuff was never talked about in my day. I mean never. So I don't know. It, it, life's life does seem very different. The world does seem very different. So um, you know, it's almost like we have to adapt to the world today, right? Because it's just so different. So <clears throat> I don't know. Kind of crazy. I just keep doing my thing, keep doing my workouts and doing my music and that's what's going on. We're recording new music by the way. We finally got the studio set up here so I can record at home now. And uh, so yeah, I've actually done a couple of recordings this week. Four, five, six. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank you very much. Whew. Thank you for the biddies. That was awesome. Very appreciated. I did uh, two recordings uh, this week. One for my band and then one for another band that I uh, provide uh, bass lines and vocals for. All right, let's do some push-ups for those biddies. Let's let's do ten. Woo! All right. Yeah, uh, I did uh, the bass and vocals for one of my songs for Liberty Street Rock, and then I did a bass line for another band that I also work with. Uh, into the machine. I provided a demo bass line. Uh, he actually messaged me back overnight saying, hey, uh, that's great. So uh, now I'm gonna 
work more on that bass line to develop that bass line for his song. Uh, had to tune the bass down to D, which is new for me because I do standard tuning, but I tuned down. So we're going to work on that bass line over Saturday and Sunday and uh, hopefully have the final version uh, ready for Sunday night. So yeah, I got to work on that. So I might even stream down here. I don't know. We'll see. You never know. <laughs> you never know. I might stream just playing the bass a little bit. I have done one music stream before. Or two. I think I did two. Okay. All right, here comes our first working set now. Here we go. Sandoval, Christian, I didn't see you there. Sorry, it was a bit of a blur. I missed you. I'm good. How you doing? I do see you now. That was you that was waving. I missed that. Sorry. How you doing, man? How you doing? Hope you're well. All right. So that was our first working set. We're going to bump that up again a little bit. You are goof. I think you meant good. You are good. Awesome. We're, uh, we're up bright and early getting it done. Appreciate you coming in like always, faithfully popping in every day. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, okay, we bumped up the weight again. We're going to do our next set. So, And then I think uh, after this first round of uh we'll do f at least five sets then i'll do a big circuit where we'll go non-stop we'll go up and down the dumbbells we'll put the dumbbells through their paces so get ready and then we're going to start stretching Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Let's get another working set in. Psycho's in the house. How's it going? Okay. I can actually do this now because I know how to do it. <laughs> I do know how to do it. There we go. I do finally know how to do that. <laughs> finally made it work after all this time. Okay. Psycho Commando in the house. Fantastic streamer. We've also got Sandoval Christian, our faithful, always popping in follower. We always appreciate when he comes in, brings the vibes in. And uh, Camaro was in here as well. I don't know if he's still here. He might be here, another fantastic streamer. And uh, he's gonna be getting back to streaming hopefully later in the next month or so, which would be awesome. So yeah, we're getting it done. We got everybody in the house this morning. That's great. Whew. 
Okay, let's uh, let's get our uh, let's bump this up one more time, and we'll get our final set in here, and then we'll do our big giant set. There we go, and there we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh no, man! Hey, it's been a long time. I and, and you know what? Honestly, uh, uh, I was just saying to Psycho yesterday, like saying like all these people, I, like wh where did they go? What happened to them? And then you pop in here this morning, like Psycho's my witness. I said that to him yesterday, and uh, no, I'm glad you popped in though. It's been a while. It's been at least two or three months, if not. Uh, yeah, probably probably a couple of months. Well, truth be told, Psycho, I slept in this morning. <laughs> I slept in, dude. I really honestly did. I woke up at three, I think it was 3.39 I said I, I woke up and I rolled over by mistake and uh, I woke up and it was like, uh, it was 4.48. Okay, we're going to put these dumbbells through their paces. Uh, let's take it back to just 15 pounds. And we're going to start there, and we're just going to work our way up. Okay, we'll take a break for a moment. Oh, yeah, he was back. He took some time off, too, during the summer. Yeah, I follow him on Instagram, and uh, and uh, he, he took some time off, but he's been back. But, you know, funny you say that. I don't think I saw him this week back streaming again. He came back for a few streams, and I, I, I honestly admit to you, I don't think I saw him this week. He's either in New Brunswick or Nova Scotia. He's in East Coast Canada. And I would see him go live usually around like 3 o'clock my time, which would be 4 o'clock his time. Um, he was streaming the week before. You'd have to maybe go to his channel and check his VODs, but I, I'm pretty confident I didn't see him on this week. Yeah, yeah. Um, 40 minute rides over, now just 40 minutes later on today, right on. Uh, uh, hadn't seen him for a while, I've only been able to catch Strongman and a bead, yeah. Yeah, bead's been on, he just did, I think, like a 24 hour stream. Uh, hey, Psycho, I think he did like a big long stream. Uh, I did. I did see him on. He was on like a long time. So, okay. All right, let's go. Here goes our big giant set. So we're just going to go till we can't go no more. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He did a, he did a 24 hour stream. I, I, I can't do that. There's just never, that's just never going to happen over here. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. feels a lot heavier than the other end. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's better. Now they're equal. Okay. Okay, Psycho. I'll see you shortly. Oh, 
I agree with you, 100%. I try to keep my screen, uh, especially like in the mornings, I try to keep it between an hour to an hour and a bit. I don't like, today's my longer stream, but that's it. That's because I'm doing extra work today. All right, let's write that all down. Yeah, um, earlier in the year, during April, I was doing cardio in the morning, weights in the morning, I was doing everything. My streams were like two, two and a half hours. Uh, that, that's just, it got too much. I'm like, yeah, we're not doing that anymore. That just got way too much. Yeah, for me, honestly, my mornings, I like them right around an hour. The afternoon, about the same. Today, yeah, I'm already at like an hour. I forget what it is. But I, I you know, I know today's going to be longer because I, I do extra stuff. But uh, that's it's the only day of the week that goes this long. And I can't quite read it from here. I think it says about an hour and ten. And, you know, I'll do, I'll do 15, 20 minutes of stretching here in a, in a moment. I, I can already feel these, uh, these uh, delts. They're pretty pumped up. Normally I get on and uh, I usually start between, you know, five, by the time I set up and everything, 5, 5.15, you know, um, I'm usually done before 6.30 in the morning and that's the way I like to do it. All right, break time and got to do a little bit more with the bands and then I'm going to get into stretching. After yesterday's legathon, squatathon, torturous destruction, I'll tell you. Hey, great to see you. Absolutely, take care of the family. Uh, I'll watch for you. Keep me, uh, keep me posted when you get back. Have a good one. Really appreciate you popping in and really good to see you this morning. Okay, that was a fantastic extra shoulder session. Let's uh, let's get some stretching in here, and then we're gonna wrap this up. Okay, let's get some let's get some stretching in. Whew. Okay, we're going to get some stretching in here.
yelling after hours. Oh man, dude, where you been? I haven't seen you all week. I've been getting up looking for you. Hope you're well, man. Hope you're well. I, like I say, I get up and look and I really haven't seen you on, so. Okay, okay. All right, hey, I appreciate the lurk. Appreciate you hopping in. Just, uh, yeah, we just had a fantastic Saturday morning session, so, yeah. All right, well, I'll watch for you next week. And, uh, yeah, hope you're well, man. Hope you're well. Oh, I think I turned the music off. All right, well, I'll watch for you next week and uh, hope to get in your stream. And, uh, yeah, take care. Appreciate the lurk, though. Really do. Give me uh, five minutes. I'm almost done. <sighs> Ooh, those hams are tight after that leg workout yesterday. Let's get a, I'm getting better at this, so let's get this done here. Another fantastic fitness streamer. Getting it done. Alec After Hours, the best slogan here. The best sleeper stream. Whew. All right, appreciate the lurks. You know my slogan, don't be shy, <sighs> say hi, come on in, stop in, say hi, don't be shy, whoo, oh those legs are tight, <sighs> how's everybody doing on a Saturday morning? I don't even know what time it is here. It's got to be pushing close to seven o'clock. Let's have a look. I got, I got my other phone right here. Oh, 7.30 almost. Okay. 7.30 on a Saturday morning. So we're here working out, getting it done. everybody got planned for today anybody got any big plans <sighs> okay here we go nice big stretch <sighs> tabs how you doing tabs appreciate you coming in How you been? Hope you're well. A dress fitting this afternoon. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. Uh, am I to guess that uh, somebody's getting married or you've got to be? Oh, you're getting married next month. Wow, I already thought you were married. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I honestly did believe you were married. I have to admit that. But that's great. No, fantastic. Congrats. That's, that's awesome. <coughs> that's a big, big milestone. Big thing going on for sure. 
Well, I appreciate you coming in. I really do. I think it's a long time since I've had you in here and chatting away. So, no, I appreciate you uh, popping in. Actually, you haven't even been streaming recently, I guess, obviously. <laughs> yeah, understandable, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got a, you got a little ways to catch catch up to me. I think we're gonna celebrate this January. I think it'll be thirty five. Yeah, I, I I follow you on Instagram, so I do see your posts. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're well, like one of, one of our only friends, like still married, like no one else is. <laughs> they've all divorced. Yeah, like of all my friends, like, yeah, my wife and I were like the, literally the only ones that are still married. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you were working for yourself. I think I saw something on Instagram about it, so hope it's going well for you. Well, I think you guys have been together a while, though. I have to assume, just based on chit-chat and whatnot, I do believe you guys have been dating or together for a while. <sighs> yeah. I was self-employed for 10 years myself earlier in life and uh, I mean I'm not now but uh, yeah it was exciting and and scary all at the same time I don't deny the feelings absolutely three years or so right on right on yeah you know deep down when you know like for you or for myself, you, you know when you find the right person, right? You just, you just know. Well, it's a very exciting time for you. So yeah, I wish you all the best. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it brings back memories, that's for sure. You wouldn't want to see my uh, late 80s uh, <laughs> wedding pics. Uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty uh, funny stuff, let me tell you. The big hair affair was in full force. <laughs> oh, it was a funny time. <laughs> uh, I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did by a mile. Oh, uh, it, was, it was the big hair affair teased up. Oh, yeah. And it was down the middle of my back. Oh yeah, I, I may have to slip up one day and, and show you. It's uh, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> and I had the uh, the pink tie, I had the pink hanky, and uh, yeah, yeah. The, the my my boys were very very little, two, three, four years old. They were looking at you know pics of me back in the day with the hair like down to here and. Dad, who's the girl here? Or who's the girl? You know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, funny stuff. It's all good for a laugh. <laughs> it's probably no different than when we look back at like 70s pictures and like, what the heck were you guys thinking with the plaid and the platform shoes and the bell bottom blues and. Oh yeah, it's no different. We look back at pictures there and the hairstyles, right? Like in the eighties, it's just like, what were you guys thinking? You know, so it is kind of funny. Okay. Any plans to get back streaming after the wedding and 
honeymoon and all that stuff? Any plans to get back to it, like, before the end of the year? Or? Yeah, I hear you. If there's one surprise about streaming for me, it is like that prep time and just setting things up and... Okay. Right on, awesome. Zenbro, the last few weeks of Zenbro Challenge. I have to admit, I don't think I'm too familiar with that. What's the Zenbro Challenge? Is yeah, obviously it's a it's a weight loss challenge. I have to assume, right? Uh, TwitchCon is towards end of October, wedding following weekend, Thanksgiving, yeah, then cruise following week, then Christmas, and trip to, D oh yeah, <coughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no, I heard. Uh, okay, we're going to raid out because I got to run. Uh, let's do a quick... Let's go over and raid my buddy Psycho Commando. Appreciate everybody being here. It was a fantastic morning. Tabs, really good to see you. I appreciate you coming in.